Hi, this is Max. The Oculus Quest headset, also known as MetaQuest now, has some really unique features that you can now use inside Autodesk Maya. Here's how. First, to use the Quest with Maya, it must be connected to your PC, either via USB cable or via Wi-Fi. Inside the headset, enable Oculus Link. In Maya, you need Marui plugin installed. Link in the video description. Now you can already use Maya in VR with the Quest controllers, just as if you were inside your Maya 3D scene. But to use the additional features, such as hand tracking, you must make sure to use OpenXR as your VR interface. In the Oculus app, go to Settings, General, OpenXR Runtime, and click the button to Set Oculus as Active. Then in the Marui settings, go to VR System and select OpenXR as VR API. Hand tracking must also be enabled inside the Oculus Quest headset. This is in the settings, movement tracking, hand tracking. Now, when you start Marui, you will see an additional option box for hand tracking. This will enable the Quest's hand tracking feature and allow you to edit your Maya scene with your bare hands. Just touch your fingertips with your thumb to access the various functions and menus. Grab with a whole hand to pull yourself through the Maya scene or scale it bigger or smaller. Now, animating with your hands is fun, but if you're animating your hands with your hands, why not just use the hand tracking for motion capture? In the Maya shelf, you will find the Hand Motion Capture menu. At the top, it will list which hand joint in your real hand is attached to which Maya joint or object. Any object is possible. Currently there are none, so I'll create a skeleton, for example a standard human IK skeleton, and press the Find Hand and Attach button. This will make Marui search the Maya scene for matching hand skeletons and attach each Maya joint to the appropriate real-world hand joint. Each attachment has an orientation setting to ensure that real-world joint motions affect the Maya joints correctly. If your fingers make the Maya joints twist sideways, you might have to edit this. You can delete one or all of the connections with the buttons below and manually create a single attachment by selecting the object in the Maya scene and pressing the Attach Selected To button. There is also a checkbox to temporarily pause all motion tracking. Below you can choose whether to track only the rotation or also the position of your real hand joints. The next section sets the details for recording the motion capture. The speed is a factor between your Maya playback speed and real time. So if you pick 0.5 you will record at half-speed slow motion. If, let's say, your Maya scene is set to 24 FPS, Marui will record 12 frames in every real-world second and it will take you two real-world seconds to create one second of 20 FPS Maya animation. You can also select to skip frames and only set a new keyframe on every second, third or fourth frame. 
the big button below starts and stops the recording. You can save your setup in a MEL file, so next time you start Maya, you don't have to go through the process again. I can use the same motion capture menu in VR, but there is an even faster way. Touch the left pinky finger as Alt key, and on the right hand, open the UI Layouts menu on the ring finger. Choose the Motion Capture Layout. Here I have different functions on my fingers, such as this time slider on my left hand. On the left and right ring fingers, I have a shortcut to attach the Maya skeleton to my real hand. I can zoom in and out to match the size of the skeleton. Then on the right middle finger, I can start and stop the motion capture recording. This is now a normal Maya keyframe animation, which I can refine and edit with the normal Maya tools. But there's one more really cool feature of the Quest headset, Pass-Through, also known as Augmented Reality Mode. In the Marui menu, open the VR Options sub-menu and activate AR Mode Pass-Through. Now I can see the real world and my Maya scene inside the real world. And yes, this is the PC where Marui is made. Well, one of the PCs. Now that I can see my real hands, I don't need this overlay anymore. In the same Marui menu, VR Options sub-menu, I can turn the overlay on or off for each hand, right, left, or both. Now I can edit my Maya scene with my real hands in the real world, which I think is pretty awesome, even if the whole thing is still a bit experimental. If you have an Oculus Quest headset, go give it a try. It's really that simple. That's it. Thanks for watching.